Good morning, y'all. I did not realize that um, I had posted a few books to my Etsy shop and did not post videos to them. So life must have happened. It happens. Um, and we were discussing shorthand in a group that I'm in, a Sacred Mementos. And um, I said, well, I have this shorthand set over in my Etsy shop. And I don't know why I don't have a video to share with you guys. So I'm going to be doing some catch up videos today um, on the books that I have posted. The first one I'm going to do though is for Hans Brinker or the Silver Skates. This book is from 1917 and I have not measured it. Of course, I'm sure the measurements are in the listing. Um, it's in really rough shape, you guys, which is why I have it listed so cheaply. It measures about six and a half by eight and three quarters by about three quarters of an inch. Like I said, this one is in really rough shape. Um, the spine is almost completely gone. This is just the fabric that's left, just the book cloth. And the inside is completely apart. And you can see these signatures were all sewn in. And it is missing the back page or two. Um, all of the illustrations are here throughout the book. There's lots and lots and lots of really cool vintage illustrations in this book. But here is... The whole front is here, and you can see it looks like it might have been owned by a child at some point. I love the front page of this. It does have the, and some of the pages are super fragile, you guys. These were made with the, it's kind of shiny paper and it's a little bit fragile. The whole contents are here. Here's the copyright, 1917. The contents pages are all here and so are the illustrations, the list of illustrations throughout the book. And the content and the illustrations both lists 236 is the uh, last page um, noted in the book. And the last page that I have in the book is 238. So I'm thinking maybe there's one signature or uh, the back matching piece that goes on this side is missing. Can't think this morning. It was a long night, you guys. So... This would be super, super easy to take apart and use for junk journaling because it's already dismantled for you and you do get these little pieces of the spine that are left. But this is, this is what this one's about. It's all about the illustrations throughout the book. And you can always tell when there's going to be a plate because there will be a blank side. Here's another one. They're really neat. Lots of black and white illustrations as well. So this one is over in my Etsy shop. Um, like I say, it's it's listed very affordably. Try to show some more of the plates in here.
the stories are nice. The colored plates are really nice. So this is this guy. I I have a hard time taking taking apart vintage books and um I believe my husband actually found this one for me. And I just haven't used it, so I posted it for sale. Anyway, I will link my Etsy shop below. So if you're interested, go over and take a look. Um, here's the back of the cover. Like I said, it's it's pretty beat up. So I think if this one doesn't sell um, by November-ish, I'll probably take it out of my shop and use it to make a winter journal. So if you're interested, go take a look over there. Um, don't want to keep repeating myself, but that's about all there is to this one. So I will be recording the video on the shorthand set of uh, speed writing books that I have listed next. Thank you for stopping by.